What's going on? Today I'm going to show you how to install the Bunking Crash Bar Reach Reducers. I tried to use the Crash Bar as kind of like a highway peg. My feet didn't reach. I came up with a different solution and I'll show you that on the bike. But then I saw these on the website and I said, you know, I need to try those and see how they look and feel. All right, let's get into the tools you're gonna need and then we'll get to the install on the bike. All right, here are all the parts we're gonna need. We're going to need Loctite, 3 8 ratchet, and a 3 8 Allen socket, or you can use a 3 8 Allen if you've got one. I'm gonna use a torque wrench, torque everything down, and the crash bar reach reducers. Let's go ahead and get into the install. All right, this is the solution I came up with. Give me a little bit more reach, but I didn't really like the way it looked. These do bend in instead of flat out, and this is from the other side. Just a bolt wraps around the crash bar. They work out really well. I'll link them down in the description. I just think it needed something a little bit different, but if this is your style, here is a suggestion for you to have highway pegs. All right, we're gonna go ahead and remove the slider with the 3 8 We're gonna reuse this, but we're not gonna reuse the bolt because they supply a longer bolt. Okay, now we'll grab the longer bolt and the slider, put Loctite on there, add the Loctite. Take the reach bracket. We'll go ahead and put it on there. You want this part, the extra 90 piece facing up. Go ahead and insert that and then we'll torque tighten it down. Snug it down so we can get it in the right spot for us. All right, with this snug down, I'm gonna sit on the bike and get it adjusted to where I feel like it needs to be. This will be different for everybody else, but snug it down where you can move it a little bit and then rest your foot, push your foot, whatever you need to do. All right, we got it installed, snug down right where I need my foot to be. I'm gonna go ahead and torque it down to 35. Bunking doesn't give you any instructions on torque specifications, but I think 35 and the the Loctite should be good enough. Let's go ahead and torque it down. 35. Let's go ahead to the other side and get the other one done. All right, we'll go ahead and remove this one. Same thing as the other side. All right, slider, bolt, Loctite, bracket, and get it snugged up. All right, with it snugged up, we'll go ahead and check the angle, make sure it's right. All right, with this one in position, we'll go ahead and torque it down to 35. That's what it looks like installed. Pretty close to the shift peg. I did have to move this one up a little bit higher and then I went ahead and adjusted the other one to make match this just so I didn't hit the uh, shifter. But that's what it looks like on this side. And this is the other side. Fits in. The only thing I wish I would have done is probably bought these this move so it matches but give me a little bit of grip so my feet don't slip. Well, that's how you install the Bunking Crash Bar Reach Reducers. I actually kind of like the way they look. We'll give a long-term review after a while. I have to do some long rides with them, see how well they actually hold up. One thing I do like is they have four little spikes or three little spikes on there that dig in the metal as you torque it down so they won't move, which is better than the other solution I came up with. They slid around after a while. You crank them down. It just never stayed in the exact same spot. But if this video helped you out, hit that like button. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you consider subscribing, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. I will gladly answer to the best of my knowledge. Well, guys, remember, ride safe, ride something, and we'll catch you on whatever I'm doing next.